where they come for the compound men's team bronze medal match. We're going to see the Knight of Spain take on the surprise package that is Greece. Back to the stadium for the team introductions. On target number one, representing Greece. Dimitrios Kostantinos Trakiotis. Carlos Kumenetta. Andreas Nataraki. Well, here we go. Time for bronze here. Spain versus Greece. The challenge of battling around the Greek names. Actually, fortunately for us, they're not too long here. Demetrius uh, Drakiotis, Stavros Kometas, and Andreas Zakarakis lining up for the surprise package that is Greece. Against Spain, Roman Lopez, Miguel Medina, Orta, and Jesus Perez Gonzalez. Fascinating route for the Greek team to get to this stage. To start things, it's the 31 year old Andreas Zakarakis. <laughs> Straight into the 10 and very keen to uh, get back across the line, handing over to Demetrius Drakiotis here. I wonder if that's a feature of this with that wind buffeting again. Getting out the shot and then getting off the line seems to be the key. I have a feeling that their second archer there, he's uh, obviously using a back tension release to get his thumb off and start pulling, whether they think he's going to take a little bit more time. So perhaps the first uh, first archer knows that he's got to be quick. Only got 20 seconds an arrow. So now, Stavros Kometas. Oh, bad start from them, a 28 of a possible 30 who switch over to the Spanish side of the shooting line. And it's uh, Jesus Gonzalez who will lead them out, taking his time here. He just had to reset his release really there, didn't he? So, yeah, it is going to be tough. The wind keeps picking up like this, so uh, you've got to be careful with that time. Big punch. Also, second here. Brilliant ten there, and the blinker, interestingly, on the right-hand side. It's yeah, yeah. I mean, with there's a big screen as well to the right there, and oh, um, point, yeah. I think the sun. You can see the shadow. So, yeah, it's a good place to have it for him, just to really get him to zone in into the target. And dropping there into the eight. So. Uh, Better start from the Greek team. Now, I say they're a surprise package. Uh, they came through the ranking round of 2086 to be ranked ninth. Actually, Spain were below them at 14th. But the impressive thing about the Greeks is they took out the incredibly strong Danish team. Yeah, and I believe they came from behind in that last end to win the match. So, you know, showing their strength and what they can do, it's going to be an interesting match here. Well, they're shooting well here. Drakiotis getting out his uh, second arrow a lot faster than the first one. And anchoring is uh, Stavros Kumertes. Put this one out of reach, potentially. And it looks like they have done as well. Uh, 57 can't be attained now by uh, the Spanish team. So whatever happens... Greece are going to have a one-point lead here. 
Gonzalez back on the shooting line. So they look like they're sticking with their orders, both teams here. And there we see that blinker on the cap of Miguel Dina Orta. And Ramon Lopez will be wanting a 10 to minimize the damage here, put it into the 9, so it's a 3 point lead for the Greek team, and despite a slightly slow second shot uh, for the Greek team, it started pretty well, very confident. Yeah, they have done, um, you know, running away with a, a three-point lead already, um, showing their confidence they've brought with them here. Yeah, looking very strong to, to give you the route to this uh, bronze medal match. Uh, the Greek team beat Austria uh, before an impressive victory over the Danish team. You can't say anything uh, less than it was a superb victory over them. Losing to France by a couple of points in the semi-finals has brought them to this stage, and they're looking very strong against Spain, who beat uh, the Netherlands. Another impressive victory there for the Spanish team before going on to uh, command a victory over Switzerland, and then losing to Turkey. The Spanish team have already got their work cut out for them. Wind still changeable. It was blowing hard at the beginning of the first end. Now it looks to have dropped off quite a lot. Yeah, it really can play a factor. You know, when you've got conditions like this, I don't think uh, any sort of lead is um, looking at them blowing. So anything can happen, which is, is quite exciting, really. Um, we've seen in earlier matches, arrows going wide. So, yeah, we're just going to play this one out and see who can be on top. Yeah, it's the gusty nature of the wind that uh, keeps all of us on our toes, especially the archers on the shooting line. Time for end number two. Spaniards trailing, so it's going to be Jesus Gonzalez who's uh, stepping up to the line first here for the Spanish team. see the wind going again now so tough conditions to hold you both still in this you can see it moving around oh massive you could use a bit more time here they've got two minutes in total and if he runs over the clock at this point wow a 10 from it so they might have a little less time now in the, in the second three arrows but that's okay as long as they can get them off it might be a lull for them they hope <laughs> It was an incredibly impressive uh, display of discipline there from uh, Ramon Lopez, the 42-year-old. In fact, the teams are, are packed with experience. Uh, Lopez, 42, Orta, 41, and Gonzalez, 39 for Spain. And it is, in fact, uh, Dracchiotis, who's the, the youngster amongst uh, all of them, from the Greek team. You see that bow moving again now. Comes away with a brilliant ten there. Gonzalez. Big punch into the nine. Harry 
know, just fuddling up the rest, just using his fingers there to pop it back on. You can see that little blade. Shot that and got off the line quick, didn't he? But it's only an eight. They haven't got time left because they used so much in the last end. They've got to get through these quickly. If you go over your time, you'll lose the air altogether. Yeah, he wants to give Lopez as much time as possible here. Shot brilliantly uh, in the first one. Got a great shot off there for a 10 as well. A 109 for them. Uh, Nicky, just quickly, the, the arrow falling off the, the rest there. Is that wind related as well? It could be. It could be, or it could be a little bit shaking because they, you know, they had to get through the shots quickly. So yeah. it could be a bit of either. But you can see these prongs. Uh, most arrow rests now like a prong with that arrow sat on top. So they can fall off. You can get different widths. We shoot a narrow blade with these. Um, uh, smaller arrows for outdoors and wider blades for the, the thicker arrows indoors. Now it's Greece's time to get hit by the wind. Yeah, big time. Drakiotis over just high uh, of the 10 there. Oh no, it looks like he has got the 10, in fact. But uh, another big opportunity here. Into the nine, so uh, potential six point lead is just down to five. A 114 plays a 109, so they've built up another couple of points. Okay, luck plays its part in all sport, even at the top level, um, and, it, and, it, and it does supposedly even out over the course of the season, but yeah. Spaniards have had a real stroke of bad luck here with the wind hitting them so hard. Yeah, you just can't control it. You've only got the time you have to, to get those arrows off. If you don't get them off in time, you'll lose the arrow. So, you know, it's tough. They're, they're pulling about 60 pounds. They're only holding perhaps about 15 pounds in the fingers. Most compound bows about 65 or maybe 75% let off. Um, so you're not holding much at full draw, and that means you get buffeted around. And some of the archers are trying to counteract that with the weight that they have on the stabilizers. We've got that long, long rod out the front, a side rod. Most archers using one side rod with compounds now. You can see a good picture there of all that stack of weight, and that's helping them to try and keep the bow still. But you've got to be strong enough to hold that. You know, it's no use putting on all that weight when you're not strong enough for it, and that only make you worse. So, you know, they built that up over a lot of time, that strength to, to be able to shoot in conditions like this. Oh, get a great view of how flat the arrows flying compound, travelling at such immense speeds, even through this wind. As you say, it's that it's the, the, the founding point on the shooting line, being so solid on that shooting line that, that aids where the arrows initially going to go because the smallest of margins to differences on the shooting line are amplified at the other end. That's right, yeah, I found, you know, this is 50 metres and um, really you don't have to aim off too much with compound because the speed of the arrow, it's 300 feet a second roughly, most of these bows, so it's them getting hit on the shooting line themselves that makes the biggest difference. We're halfway through this bronze medal match at the European Championships between Spain and Greece. Spain trading now by five points and it's the not so speedy Gonzalez getting the Spanish team off the mark. been impressive Ramon Lopez very calm just going through his process a great deal of discipline to hold on to a shot in the wind buffeted second end three nines are all in the same sort of area so they will be having a chat with each other the Spaniards about just bringing those down and into the ten Brilliant first shot from you know, Greece is a, is a windy island. I've shot there before, and you know these guys are going to be used to these kinds of conditions. So I wonder whether the conditions here have really played into their hands. Oh, 
The grouping was good from Spain. Uh, the grouping is great from uh, Greece because they're all in the tens. Now what have the Spaniards decided in their little break between the first three hours and the second three? Definitely lower. Yeah, I think they made an adjustment, didn't they? The whole team went high, perhaps a headwind uh, that dropped and then all going high the, the beginning of this end. See that little bubble just about in the scope there, the compound archers use. Well, three point gain for the Greek team through the first half of this end. They've got the potential for another two points here, but a reset here. Yeah, I think again the Ari fell off the rest. He didn't quite manage to get to full draw to put back on, so it came down, using up some valuable time and only an eight from it. So, giving a point back there. Damage could have been worse. Needs to get this one off very quickly. He gets into the ten. So how much time has he left for his teammate here? Mertes pops it into the nine. And look at that. And the lead has gone up yet again. Despite the eight on the reset for the fourth arrow for the Greeks, they have opened up the lead in the third end to six points. And they're looking incredibly strong. They really are. You know, I, I think they're just kind of used to these windy conditions. They're um, just ahead here um, on that basis, I think, really. They know how to deal with it, what to do, and uh, probably quite comfortable. Yeah, and then there's the reset there, just not quite getting it on set up and ready to go you talked about that where, do, where first off where did you shoot in greece uh, was it an international tournament I have shot internationals there yeah all, all over the place really and, uh, and you talk about the conditions being windy there the, the sort of many islands of course uh, that are full of greece the coastal conditions here in antalya almost exactly the same as they'd be shooting in the summer probably pretty similar yeah changeable conditions you know no consistency to it you have to be really sharp on watching you know, what factors around the field are going to show you the best information and how to react to them so like i said before with the compound you might not have to aim off so much it's really about trying to hold your body and your bow as still as possible we're not robots we can't hold it dead still but maybe bubbling um, the scope leaning the bow slightly over that sort of thing which can help well, the Greeks have had an impressive tournament here, beating the number one seeds, Denmark, en route to this bronze medal match. It looks like they are looking to capitalise on the opportunity to get a medal at the European Championships. They lead by six points over Spain, and it will be Jesus Perez Gonzalez who will lead the line out in the fourth and final end for the Spanish team. You can see the long rod on this archer pointing down again that can help um, the weight distribution a bit lower which can help with holding the bow still. If you're wondering what that pink plastic is, it's a wraparound of a fibre pin. So he's looking at a bright fibre right in the middle of the scope. Brings a lot of light into it. So that's actually going up underneath the scope and going into the scope. So he's looking through it. Yeah, into the centre of the lens. Yeah, 
you a similar setup here for uh, Dimitros Drakiotis. <laughs> Rev running off the line now. A little smile on the face of uh, Kamertus as well. Because you don't need to rush quite so much. Movement there wasn't there before release, but a lovely ten from it. So, a gain of at least two points, potentially three in the first half for Greece already. You just see him really <coughs> punching those shots off at the moment. He come as he came into full draw, he hit the wall, came off the wall, and it's getting a little bit twitchy for me. Solid second half though, two tens. Now up comes a man who's as cool as ice. Ramon Lopez doesn't seem to show any emotion at all. It looks like he's just dropped it into the nine. So 2.20 to finish for the Spaniards. Potentially a 2.21, bear in mind that first arrow going to a measure. 229 available for the Greek team. Popped that out into the eight. So now we're looking at 227. So still bags of room, but they've just got to maintain their composure. Nine. The nine, it's more than good enough. A six to win. Handing over to Stavros Kometas. He's got bags of time here. He's taking a lot of it. And so when you look back at uh, what they did earlier on in the first three arrows, running off the line, this is to buy enough time for this last arrow. And a six was required. He shot a nine. And believe it or not, Greece have just taken the European Championship bronze medal in the compound men's team event. What a fabulous performance by Dimitrios Drakiotis, Stavros Komertis and Andreas Zakarakis. Brilliant stuff from Greece. Bronze medal, the European Championships. Uh, Nikki, look, let's, uh, let's just focus on that Greek team. Did well, deserved the chance to shoot for a medal here, having beaten Denmark en route to this bronze medal match. And it just looked to me like they they saw this opportunity, they, they thought it doesn't come along that often, and they stuck to their game plan, and they even had a tactic for that last end. Yeah, I think you know this is probably one of the biggest upsets, um, seeing them come through um, the matches here in the team round, and you know what a fabulous performance. I think you know whether the weather has played into their hands at this tournament, they've known how to shoot in it better than other teams perhaps, and um, yeah, they've shot fantastically there and picked up the bronze medal. Yeah, that a great performance from them. Congratulations to them for taking the opportunity. Uh, Spain, look, they didn't shoot so badly, but again, a little bit of luck. Uh, came into this and bad luck unfortunately for them as uh, we see the bows raised high the bronze medalists are Greece here but Spain really just not didn't have the luck and then really couldn't pull it back together again <laughs> 